everybody. It's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. How y'all doing today? Today I have a larger than usual canvas. It's an 18 by 24. And I'm going to do a ribbon pour on it, but I'm also going to add some bottle bottom uh, flowers to it. And you can see I'm going to do a large one in this corner and then a smaller one here. I have 11 different colors and I'm not going to go over all the colors I'm using today, but I will list them in the description. I can tell you my pouring medium is my normal two parts Floetrol, one part paint, squirt of GAC 800, and about a teaspoon of the Liquitex gloss medium. No silicone added today. I have put down a layer, a base coat of my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And I filled four cups full of paint for the ribbon part of the pour. And my paint is a little bit on the um, thinner side today. Let's see if I can show you one of these here that I have a little bit left. I saved some of my paints out for my flower, my flowers. So it, it doesn't even really leave a mounder, just a trace. You can see that. Just a trace. So let's get started with the ribbon. I kind of staggered all my paints differently in my cups. So I'm just going to add paint all over my canvas here. Leave a little bit of room here and there for, for my flowers. I normally do not work on this big of a canvas, but I've been looking at it for a long time and thought I need to, to use that canvas. So today's the day. So that's one cup down and I'm not even sure I'll use all four cups because if I have negative space, that's fine. That's why I put down that coat of the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. And I'm not going to do any tipping until I have my flowers down. This type of pour is a lot of preparation, but just really fun to do. And here comes the third cup. And my last cup, I would like to get some of this pink over in this area, so I think I will use it. I probably will have to run a lot of paint off of my canvas, but I do want to get some of that pink on this end, as I'm doing now. Very pretty. Okay, I think that's good for the paint. And now I'll just start making my flower, both of them. This is a very pretty blue color, metallic blue color that I made up with four different paints. And I am hoping that this turns out
This is a metallic -y white. And it is from Amsterdam. Again, all my paint colors will be listed in the description. This color I can tell you is called Venetian Rose. It is an Amsterdam color. Very pretty. This is uh, Liquitex Basics Quinacridone Magenta. This is Arteza, and it's a red, Bordeaux red, that I mixed with uh, Liquitex Basic Silver just to give it a little more shine and sheen to it. This is Liquitex Basics Cadmium Yellow Medium Hue. And this is Arteza, and it's um, a lime green, and um, it's in their, I think it's their iridescent line. It's quite shiny. And I think I will end it with this, this uh, quinacridone magenta here. This is quite a large canvas to tip, so if during the tipping process my canvas goes out of uh, camera camera <clears throat> angle I, I do apologize for that I'll try my best to to keep it in focus and in camera for all of you to see as much as I can okay I'm just gonna let that sit there a minute and I can torch it while we wait And I have a little bit of paint left in my last cup, so I'm just going to add some here and there. Oop. 
oops, went over my flower there. It's all good. Okay. Okay, now I will try and pick up this, these flowers here and just see if I have to do something to the um, middle or if it will fill in on its own. And I think I will um, do some tipping before I decide what to do with those middles if I have to do anything. And I do have plenty of paint left in my cups if I have to go ahead and add stuff. So let's get to tipping. I try and leave my Fridays for just fun pours. And this really is fun. And my flowers are going to go wonky. I know that. But that's, I, I figured that that was going to be part of the fun. Like I said, I'll try and keep you in frame as much as I can while I do this tipping process. I just wanted this to be a fun, a fun painting. And I really do like that blue color that I made up. And I got the recipe for this blue color from Gail Bernston of Life and Splatters. It uses a, a PBO, um, it's called Dyna. It's number 357. And it uses um, the Cobalt Blue, Artist Loft Cobalt Blue. And it uses a Color Shift Black. And I will list that in my in my description in the pull down box. Okay, I'm gonna try and bring my flowers over a little bit here, back and forth. Still a lot of paint on this canvas. So I will run some down. Okay, I'm just going to wipe my hands off here. And take a look. And I'm going to run the paint down to this corner. And if I run some of that flower off, that's fine. I'll just bring it back and stretch it out. Hopefully. Yes, that's what I wanted to do, just put this, this um, flower in the corner here, and I've pulled it back. That, that's 
one of the achievements I wanted to do, as you can see it hopefully in this corner. And this flower is not looking bad either. taking a look at everything now. I think I will try and draw down to this corner a little bit. And the paint is moving very slow, at least slower. So that leads me to believe that um, I have run quite a bit of the paint off. And now I'll bring it back. All the time watching this flower in the corner, I do not want to lose that. Okay, I'm gonna take another look at it. I tell you, I'm loving it. I am just loving this painting. And I'm going to cover this corner here. I have a little bit of paint left in my cup, so I might as well cover that up. And I will do a little tipping on that. Check my corners here. And see if I can clean off the bottom of my painting. I'm just run my fingers down through it. And I will torch again too. Just love the colors. Beautiful and happy. It is a busy painting, but I think really what is uh, making this painting is that blue. It's so pretty and the, the, the um, excuse me, green in the flower. Just so pretty. Okay, just gonna tip a little bit in this corner where I added the paint. And hopefully you are pretty much in focus there. And I'm going to torch it. And then I'll get you down for a close up. But now that I'm looking at it, I think I want to just try and get this, this flower stretched out just a little bit more here. If possible, if the paint will run anymore. Let's see if we can stretch it out. Stretch it down maybe a little. Take another look. Yes, I like that. Okay. I'll get you down for a close up. You can tell me what you think.
Okay, we're coming down for our close up now. This is the upper left hand corner. Very bright, very pretty. Here's the first flower that I worked on, the bigger one. And I will bring you out. It turned out very, very pretty. And then back down to the lower left hand corner. All these colors played so well together. And I will take you up the middle. There's the blue that I had made. Stripes stayed so distinct. I really like that. And in here, very pretty. Just a lot going on. Loving those stripes. I'll take you over to the upper right hand corner. And down the right hand side. Very pretty in there with the yellow. And here's the smaller flower that I think turned out just so great. It really enhanced that corner like that. I'm glad it turned out like that. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. That'd be great if you shared it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't. That would really help me out. And until next time, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye for now.